back to the episode. So it is that I open 19. Today we're third, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm a fabled day 14. Uh, well, day. Last we left off, we did a lot of very necessary stuff, including some major steps towards ultimately our escape from this fabled southern town. We find ourselves in the middle of, we've knocked out one of the shotgun messiah factories out of the three total factories this town has, plus some sort of like a military bunker slash a shooting range installation. So we still got a little bit of time we want to spend here, and ultimately that means we're going to be fending off the horde here. Most of the loot we have is stuff that we found here. This makes things a little bit troubling luckily for us we brought with us some pretty nice weaponry and we found and even crafted up some pretty nice explosives as well so i reckon we got the firepower to get through this but we're still gonna want to make sure to fortify our base a little bit because this is pretty much what we're calling home we've wandered into this abandoned church and pretty much this is gonna be it when that giant horde that shows up every seven days and gets stronger every seven days appears this is where we're going to be fending them off. So we've started kind of decking this place out with traps a little bit. Also, speaking of major steps, we finally built up the workbench, which will be huge for our ultimately escape from here. Because as cool of a town as this is, there's not a trader or settlement nearby from which to get quests from, making it not really a great long-term location, but great place for a long-term field trip. However, that field trip involves... Uh, fending off this massive horde. So we got our work cut out for us, but luckily we did manage to get this workbench crafted, which will be hugely in handy when it comes to crafting up that better vehicle. As much as I'd love to make my way back home, we need a better vehicle because it's going to come with more storage room, which means we'll be able to bring home with us a lot more stuff. And we found a lot of great things during our time here, and uh, we're going to be finding more. But uh, there y'all can see that stockpile of ammo. We are going to be putting to use here some of the stuff that we got uh, so far. And we got some really valuable stuff that I can't wait to sell at a trader, which will seriously help us get some great money, money, money. And ultimately get our hands on some power tools as well. We don't have the know-how to craft them yet. I'd honestly prefer purchasing them from a trader, which means we should be able to get them a little bit earlier than potentially otherwise. And also getting the money and experience to ideally get our hands on some new weaponry like that auto shotgun. So we got a lot of stuff to get done, lads and lassies. Hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day of the the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out whether that be from the video bring you a smile bring you a giggle anything or everything like that does not matter to me how little bit of joy can go ahead and make his way into your day today i'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do that's exactly what the joy I do do because y'all know me there's nothing that helps bring a smile to my face and keep me holly jolly throughout my videos then no one that hopefully i might be able to help bring a smile or help cheer someone's day up out there regardless of what's going on and you know whether that be directly from me in the video and some of the shenanigans and inevitable goofitude and gaffes that we get ourselves into because I'm the master of shenanigans, baby. Uh, whether it be from that or just me crossing my fingers and wishing y'all well and sending y'all that positive vibes and all that, you know, whether it's directly from something we do or if it's just indirectly because of, I don't know, my, my can-do spirit, you know, something motivational like that. Doesn't matter to me how hopefully I can help make your day a little bit better than that. Hey, you want to repay the favor to me? I could do the thing all YouTubers do and say, smash that like button. And, uh, but no, that's not what I'm gonna do. Even though you should totally do it. I'm just gonna wish that hopefully y'all can help spread a little bit of that goodness and a little bit of that joy and pay it forward as well. You know, you see someone out there, you like their shirt. Hey, that's a nice shirt you got. I'm not gonna lie, dude. One time someone complimented my shirt, I was feeling like a king for the rest of the day. You know, this is back, back in the, back in the old days when I was at a restaurant and stuff. You know, old, old days. And, uh, well, you know, I was just wearing a cool little floral shirt I got, you know, for like 20 bucks off the internet next thing you know i get a little compliment hey i like your shirt where'd you get it i'm like oh golly gee willikers the internet he's like well i'll be checking that place out that's not exactly how the convo went down oh zombie i'm a bash of brains but i digress long story short you know it, it really helped cheer me up for a little bit i wasn't even necessarily having a bad day but dude it just made the mood of that day so much better so long story short even if it's through something minor you can seriously i gotta get some repair kits to smash the zombies brains in you can seriously make someone's day literally from the littlest things so just try to be a little bit holy jolly and you know spread some goodness because i appreciate the bejesus out of that and that's all that i'm asking for you know but uh, that's not i don't know why i checked that oh, i should be checking right over here the repair kit's exactly what we're looking for let's go ahead and repair this we're gonna want to make sure all of our weapons are prepared uh we're gonna be bringing out we don't have a shotgun with us currently but we do have some shotguns stored again some pipe bombs some molotov cocktails i might even want to make my way over like to the roof i don't know we'll see because like this isn't exactly the most sophisticated location but i do like these walls they're good walls, man. Like, those are mwah, quality walls. Uh, but we might need to ultimately repair these walls. Oh, hold up, hold up. Did I not have claw hammer somewhere? I used it to craft workbench, didn't I? Never mind, never mind. I had an idea. I said we're not going to talk about that idea. What's it going to take to repair this? We can't really repair this, can we? 
No, unless, like, the wrench no longer is utilized for repairing things, which honestly might be a thing I'm not 100% sure, but no, we should be able to repair stuff with the wrench. I hear zombies sneaking up on me, don't I? Oh, you wandered into my home, my house of worship. Well, worship this! A little bit of sledgehammer to the face, to the face! All right, uh, speaking of which stuff, sledgehammer is repaired. Woohoo! I'll definitely be taking that. Uh, we have found some pretty solid weapons throughout our stay here too so far, but definitely getting that workbench built up was huge. I think we also have Yizzer, a little bit of a perk point for us to put to use and given just kind of the situations surrounding this day 14 horde, I think it might be a decent idea. Decent idea here. So go up a level in machine gun. Uh, deal 10% more damage, 5% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload. And we unlock AK crafting, so that's kind of cool. But that will uh, that will make us a little bit more more. Uh, how does one say? Intimidating. I, I like I like intimidation. Let's intimidate some zombies with some bullets because this beautiful tactical assault rifle right here is actually better than the ak that we just unlocked crafting for i should have an ak lying around somewhere over here right there 37 damage look at this thing 56 to be fair it does have some modifications on it but tactical assault rifle is a beast we got 46 bullets in a mag speaking of which i'm gonna have to reload or something like that but yeah not too shabby this son why don't we go and craft up some more of them wooden spike traps and we're not going to be going too 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 crazy with base fortifications minimum i would like to get one layer of spikes ideally two layers of spikes we're not going to be able to put down more advanced stuff we just simply are not advanced enough in terms of level and crafting recipes to start having like you know turrets and stuff protecting us yes that is a thing that we can get we can literally get turrets protecting us but uh at the moment that is not uh, an option because again we got to unlock some of the necessities first hello this i'm hitting a tree why is this three what this is a tree rock i don't know what i just stumbled across but i don't like it i'm scared mom mom come pick me up i'm scared let's continue breaking this thing down though because usually when we do chop down the tree to its fullest we will get everything from it so we're gonna do a little bit of chop in here to acquire the goodies that we need and to get this place surrounded into the spikes and hopefully fend off uh, this sword. But yeah, this is a big reason that we are actually doing all this stuff. Why I came to this town and when I saw all the factories, I knew I wanted to hit them up. Those factories get us tons of experience, tons of good loot, which will ultimately then get us either exactly what we're looking for or advance our purposes towards what we're looking for. Star, what do you mean by that? Well, 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 son of Jim Barbarino. What I mean is we might be able to then sell that stuff further down the line, which then ties back into the reason I want to get that better vehicle. We might then be able to sell the stuff that we come across and get our hands via traders what we want and unfortunately the traders are off limits but big big picture things we want obviously those power tools that'll make building a base from scratch ultimately something that i want to do i always love building bases from scratch but uh, as you all can tell acquiring the necessary resources is a little bit is, is easier it's a little bit easier there when uh, why don't we go and just repair that right now while we're regenerating our stamina anyways uh, i should like bring out some booze or something to help us regenerate stamina a little bit faster but uh just, just something like that it tends it, it tends to help you know because if i had a chainsaw right now let me just say these trees whoo -hoo -hoo, we'd be making lickety quickity splickety lickety work out of it bro this tree would not stand a chance but it's all right never stood a chance anyway i wonder if there's anything up at the tippity top of there i'm not gonna lie i mm, Man, I mean, I should continue investing my wood into these spikes at least for this first layer of wall. But then I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to craft up some blocks and see if I can't make a little, uh, little homemade ladder up towards the tippity top of this place. Because I might end up camped out on that rooftop anyway. I genuinely think that that might be just the best approach because we don't really have a lot in here. But there you go, we go about half of this thing nice and done let's take this opportunity continue clearing this place out a little bit more we're gonna have a great vantage point from up there too potentially if we stay inside we're gonna have those two mm, we could always go hide in the rafters inside but no nah, man i want to go on guns blazing Alrighty though, let's continue chopping this down. But yeah, we're obviously working our way towards via all this looting, all this questing, ultimately from selling the loot and then hopefully purchasing it uh, via, or purchasing what we actually want via traders. We want to work our way towards better vehicles. Uh, big picture, I mean, we want to make our way up to like that 4x4 truck, uh, ultimately the motorcycle. Uh, actually, first motorcycle, then 4x4 truck, then I believe the gyrocopter, the gyrocopter. Oh, euro, eurocopter. <laughs> it's coming to play. No, the eurocopter. Uh, Whatchamacallit? I mean, that thing doesn't really have, like, I don't know. 
personally, the truck might be better, but that thing gives us pretty much the ability to fly in the air, which is pretty cool. So in terms of kind of increasing our vehicle variety, that'll be good because they can store, they can go longer distances. They travel faster. Uh, they have more storage room, which again, is huge for these kind of like loot expeditions we go out on. And that's the big reason we're working our way up to that mini bike. And I also want to make work more up to power tools and better base defenses, man. Some automated turrets and a fully electric powered base. Woohoo! That's going to be nice, baby. That is not going to be shabby. All right, let's get ourselves a few more spikes, shall we? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, man. I don't know. We might be able to go for the second layer, but... I'm I'm, I might just be tempted by the one layer. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, don't, I don't know if this could be a mistake. Oi, babe, we're getting thirsty. Hopefully, ah. We might need to go out on a quick little food slash water run, too. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Since this is kind of like a new place, we haven't really settled too properly down here. Uh, so we might be a little bit low on those necessities. Like, at least here, like, we got some coffee. Actually, dude, let's go. I'll drink that coffee. That gives us a little bit of water, too. And it will help us regenerate stamina significantly faster. So glug, 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 mother trucker. Let us chow down on this coffee. Hold the way down the hole. Gorgeous. Food-wise, we get a little bit hungry. I mean, we got a little bit of can of sham, a little bit of miso soup. Like, this is going to be barely enough food to get us through the night. But I, we got to put our energies, toward, I, I think, just towards kind of getting through this night first and foremost. And then we'll worry about things after that. Um... Run speed. I'll, I'll drink up the Mega Crush too, dude. Why not? Let's just get absolutely, let's get absolutely cracked out, shall we? Drinking up all these energy drinks, all this coffee. Hopefully my guy doesn't suffer from a sudden cardiac arrest. But oh, Nelly, freaking Mach 5 speeds. Look at this. And our stamina regen should be absolutely ridiculous. I don't think we attack any faster, as awesome as that would be. But uh, things continue going well in that regard. But yeah, looking forward to getting like some turrets set up, getting a proper base set up, ideally closer to... Uh, whatchamacallit, not the settlers, but the settlement. Looking forward to getting these places looted up because seriously, the factories have such good loot at the end. And building that workbench was huge for us too because now we can actually, we need, a lure, we need a workbench to do this. We can craft up more lockpicks, which is big. So that lets us pretty much break into uh, most loot chests that actually for quite a few parts of the series, we kind of had to pass up on some solid loot chests. Ooh, speaking of solid loot chests, I got a little bit of lockpicks on it. I'm not going to lie. I have the attention span of a dog seeing a squirrel, and I recall there being a water treatment plant nearby. Star? Why do you like water treatment plants so much? Well, let me just say, there's this cheeky little way to actually get in to the end of the water treatment plant and get the very best things. So, I mean, should I be a responsible human being and continue crafting all these spikes? Yes. Am I? Nope, <laughs> let's go and find this thing, man. Let's hop on the bike for a little mini adventure, dude. I'm sorry. I, I, am I overconfident in my ammo supply? Probably, but uh, push comes to shove. We got the boom booms. Uh, I reckon we'll be all right. Let's hop on the bike. Giddy up, giddy up, air cowboy. And uh, I forget exactly where it is, but somewhere around this town, I do really recall some, uh, some form of water treatment plant. Now it's a matter of stumbling across this thing and getting one final look at this place before it gets ravaged by that horde of which we speak. We got the little double fire station over. Oh, skirt, skirt. We got the little double fire station uh, back over there. We got a little, I don't think that's a water treatment plant to the left there. This is the big factory I'm talking about. I think this is the one that we've looted already because we have looted one. And that's a little, is that the, no, that's not the water treatment plant, is it? That's something else. Uh, Shade Tree Auto. Never mind. That is not that. <gasps> hold up. 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 Let's go, baby. How did we completely miss this earlier? I take it back. Oh, my. Thank you. I don't know how I missed this earlier. Genuinely, how did I miss this earlier? Was this thing just so far tucked away? I ignored it. Nah, don't care. Don't care. Found the trader. Let's go. I knew it was weird that we didn't stumble across this fella yet. Don't tell me he's got a functioning workbench. Okay, it's broken. We can loot that. Hey, we learned the workbench. Would have loved that a bit earlier. Then I wouldn't have had to spend perk points into learning how to craft the workbench. Well, we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to make our way up into the treehouse. What's up, Trader Jewel? Oh, we got anything? Any good book? <gasps> what is that? Leg shots. Oh, can do some good damage. I'll take that. I'll learn that. And uh, I'll grab that and sell that right back to you there, Joel. Dude, this is actually huge. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna be pretty worried how we were gonna get a lot of our loot back, but now the good news is a lot of loot we find from here, we should be able to sell here, turn it into cash money, and then bring it back and only haul back with us actual loot that we actually want to hold on to and not just loot that I plan on selling. Dude, that's actually huge. Okay, what's up? Do you have a job for me? And if so, where at? Uh, east, east, west, south? Uh, I mean... Oh, one to 80 meters to the northeast. I'll actually take that. Yeah, that that might be a very quick quest. Again, we're getting very sidetracked, but I digress. Uh, let's see what's up over here. Anything good that we could buy from this fella? Uh, he's got an okay AK, double barrel shotgun, bicycle handlebars. Doesn't look like he has anything too good. Uh, the extended mag's nice, but I already have it for my most important weapon, so I'm not too worried about that. The bar brawling that gets us better melee damage with our fists. I don't really use my fists too much. Spear hunter, I don't really use spears too much. What about on the regular side of the store? Uh, you got anything good there, Sonny Jim Barbarino? That'll come in handy when we want to do uh, uh, outfit our base with electricity. We're not prepared for that. Sorry about the burp there. Um, not really seeing nothing too good. But again, the good thing is here, I got like a lot of books and stuff. That I can just very quickly sell. These things that I've learned with that little icon on the top left hand corner being an open book, that means we know it. That means we could sell it guilt free. And then even like some steel club parts and like various things I don't really plan on doing anything with is also a great candidate for us to sell. He's gonna be restocking on day 16. Safe travel. So I think we'll be able to catch at least one of his restocks before we migrate away from here. So that's good. That'll give us a chance to loot up the rest of the factories. Dude, everything actually just got so much better. Like you guys have no idea. This is a game changer, man. And I do have this clear quest really quickly. Well, we, we could go and do this, get a little get a little warm up. Yeah, man, what can I say? Let's, let's warm this thing up, shall we? Just take down a few zombies, knock out this quest. Or we just do come back. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll sell some stuff at the trader now. We gotta focus. We gotta focus. And I also gotta find that water treatment plant. Actually, this trader little detour may have uh, taken away our water treatment plant. And we gotta do a freaking auto shop. This is a pretty small auto shop. Never mind. I'll take it. Boop. Goodbye to your face. And boop. Goodbye to your face. Part two. Hello. Hello. Where is. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Papu. Jeez. I did not expect anyone in there. Yeah. I might need to use that when you're done. I kind of. Kind of poop my pants a little bit myself. Hello. I always gotta check from above. That's where the zombies like to hide. Oh, you live? Not for long. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hear a zombie back there. Is he uh, here? Is a chick on? Hello, chick on. Carry on. This should be a quick, like, I don't know. I did say that I wasn't going to do this, and then I started doing this. The reason for that is this should be quick. But there's really not a lot of places for us to go here. Unless there's like a secret doorway in the back, but that doesn't even appear to be the case. Like, I think there's literally one zombie left, and I think he is uh, up here. Hello. Goodbye. No, there's another one. Unless that was him. No, there's one still below. Hello. There you are. Come on, let's take you down really quickly. Look at that. I think we just knocked out the quest. Literally that easy. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's the goodies, and that's the power of the quest. We're gonna get some money for that. We're gonna get some experience for that. And we got a nice little detour from being a responsible human being. I like it. Car parts box. Oh my god, 25 repair kits! Dude, even if we don't use all of those, that's like $1,000 worth of repair gets good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's loot this place off really quickly. We got a little bit of gas that'll definitely come in handy when we get the mini bike crafted up. Where'd you come from? Through the window? Really? Really? That's ridiculous, bro. That's, uh, come on, dude. That's absolutely ridiculous, bro. Oh, hold up. Let's turn that thing back on. Utility cart. You got anything for me? A few things. It sounds like a zombie horde may have stumbled across us here. So I'm hearing a little bit of racket. Yeah, we got a few on the exterior, a few on the interior. Yeah, get out of your face there. Uh, okay, good body arm, I suppose, too. Good body your face. And uh, what are you doing, kind sir? Get out of here. Actually, stay here, because if I take it down, I get a nice little fixings of experience. Woohoo! See ya! Look at that, dude. We're getting so much experience for these guys. And the power of the sledgehammer, and this is a pretty weak sledgehammer, only level one. We're still schmelting these dudes, man. They're looking like freaking iron ore in a Minecraft furnace. They're getting schmelted, baby. All right, let's get a little bit more. Sometimes they survive, so I definitely could get something more powerful, but I digress. Let's bring out the wooden club of doom over here. Hit them in the face a little bit, maybe light them on fire. Oh, look at that. One normal hit. Not, this is a power swing, by the way. Uses more stamina, stops your stamina from regening for a few seconds. This is a normal hit. And, like, this club's pretty good. It's spiked. It's a glorified torch. It sets people on fire. 
Like, this is the fanciest wooden stick you've ever seen. Look at the mods, man. Look at that. This ain't your run-of-the-mill stick. It's an advanced stick. I'll take that water. Thank you, T-minus four hours till that whore done diddly do appear. I can't believe that trader though, man. I seriously, like, the one little end of the street I didn't check. Like, I derped big time. I don't have a wrench on me. Otherwise, I think I could actually loot that engine and get some stuff from it. Uh, just a little checking here that I didn't miss any potentially good little loot objects. All right. Let's make our way up here because I know for a fact. Yes, sir. Little ammo pile. Nice. Some more ammo. Definitely going to be needing it. Who knows? I might be let. Yes, go. Let's go. More Mega Crush. That'll power us through a little bit of that harvesting we still got to do. And uh, okie dokie. Let's turn this quest in really quickly. I'll probably take another one just because. I'm difficult like that, <laughs> but then, uh, I don't think we have time for that water plant detour. We really should get back to harvesting. Oh, mama. Yeah, that storm, that's the sound of doom. Death and destruction. My three favorite things, except when it's getting inflicted upon me. Let's go. Armor plate mod or ammo? Hunt? That's, yeah, dude, I'm taking that ammo. That's a lot of ammo. Oh, another one. Lucky looter. Find more lead and loot or structural brace mod. I'll just take the lucky looter. Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, hold up. Let's take you down. Okay, actually, you're on the other side. I'm okay with that. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna pick that up so I can really quickly learn it. And hold up. What is this? He has, uh, do you have any special jobs? Ooh, do any of these tasks sound like something you can do? Opening trade routes? Yeah, I'll, I will do. Hold up. First things first, you're sketching me out, girl. There you go. Unsketched. Yeah, yo, what? I've never seen this before. And also, apparently, one kilometer to the east? I have a task We're expanding traders to the east. Tell the folks at Trader Gen that our dukes are shiny and they have rewards and more work for you. So there's another town one kilometer to the east? Makes us friends now. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. First off, I've never seen a quest like that. I maybe just uh, have been irresponsible and haven't been, like, clicking on that whenever it pops up. Uh... So there's a trader right there? Get out of here. That close? No way. Okay. We might not be as desperate to move out of this town as we thought. Today, we're learning a lot about this place. And just this one settlement we found has opened up so much. That's actually crazy. I'll do this fetch quest to the east. Why not? We're going to be going that way anyway. Actually, let's do a clear zombies. I like clearing zombies. Do you think you can yeah, we'll do that. I mean, we still got to get out of here eventually. So I have like some quests to turn into the north and some loot to get back from up there. But like slowly but surely, I'm turning a new leaf, man. I am liking this place. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's not good. Not nice. All right. Back on to responsibility row. Not exactly my favorite street, but you got to do what you got to do. Bro, you better. This guy, if, dude, if they have power tools for sale here and we're about to find another settlement to the east, like you guys... I am so stoked, you guys have no idea. My entire worldview and approach to this little excursion has changed. Like, I might live here now, dude. I don't know, I'll, I'll let y'all decide. Let me know in that comment section down below what y'all think, but personally, uh, this new place, I'm starting to vibe with it, broski. I'm starting to vibe with it. Where that mega crush at? Glug, glug, mother trucker. Glug, glug, that'll help us run faster back home too, which is pretty nice. I mean, I did ride my bike, but can I pedal faster? Is that a thing? All right, first things first, let's continue uh, collecting that. But yeah, let me know in that comment section down below. And of course, as always, if y'all are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a great way of letting me know that y'all do want to see more. But at the end of the day, I'm a man of the people. If the people continue enjoying series, what can I say? I got to give the people what they want. And of course, always looking forward to y'all's comments in that comment section down below. Love hearing some feedback, what y'all like about the series, what y'all maybe want to see me do next. I always love giving it that little twist and try to involve the viewers as much as I can. So if there's ever anything specific y'all want me to do, any specific locations y'all want me to try, anything I've passed up that you maybe think I should give a little bit of love to go ahead and let me know but right now I gotta give some love to my base and maybe a few of these trees along the way let's uh continue crafting those spikes well oh my god we run so fast uh, let's continue crafting those spikes that should bring us up to about a little over 30 I mean, we gotta be able to finish that first row and then I, I think we're just going to the roof dude oh mm, I just realized there's a chance the zombies might break my chest, man. That'd actually be obnoxious if they end up doing that. Oh, no. T-minus two hours. Mm. Horde is getting more and more stressful, man. I'm not going to lie, but that settlement made things a little bit nicer. We already got a bedroll put down here, which is the good news. So if we die, we'll return. But I don't like dying. 
You know, zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Yeah, it's just not my thing. Um, let's make our way back. Home should not be too far away. Uh, let's continue crafting those, just so we always have something crafting. Just gotta be productive right now. We got a little over two hours, and I gotta have at least one layer of spikes. Like, we're, we're grossly unprepared in terms of defenses. In terms of ammo, I mean, time will tell. But in terms of defenses, it's, uh... Not looking the best. It has looked better. Let's leave it at that. It's definitely looked better, but this might end up being just enough spikes we need, which then gives us a few hours to, I mean, prepare the weapon. Okay, well, that kind of throws things off a bit, but whatevs. Uh, prepare the weapons, all them goodies like that. All right, put that there, put that there. I think we're gonna end up needing a few more of these. All right, where the trees at? Where the trees, where the trees, where the trees at? We got this fella over here. Bikes back there, that's fine. As long as a freaking zombie doesn't find it. Oh, wah, 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 wah. And then it's starting to get a little bit dark. Oh, uh, we cannot take much more time. But I definitely want to be able to, like, kind of fortify the front a little bit. I don't just want the zombies to be able to make their way inside, even though uh, that might be what ends up happening. I don't know. Maybe we can make a hole in the roof and actually peek inside via the roof. Like, we got some options, man. Okay, you cannot be repaired because you're in my hand. You need a repair. Let's repair that thing. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, some zombies also might end up dropping some loot that'll be perfect for us to pick up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. T minus one and a half hours until the fateful moment does strike. And speaking of fateful moments and awesome things that y'all should do, y'all should definitely head over to twitch.tv slash starslip where we are live streaming every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys don't know what time that is uh, for you, you can go ahead and go to the link in the description and in the pinned comments to twitch.tv slash starslip slash schedule where we'll tell you guys uh, what that is in your local time zone. So there's like 24 different time zones across the world. Crazy concept, I know. It's just a great way that uh, y'all can go ahead. And be prepared for that stream and kind of know uh, when things are going to be going live in your local time. So we try to do that every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Quick note, this Friday is just going to be one Friday I'm not going to be able to hit. But after that, every Friday, that's the same time that we are going live. So hopefully I do uh, see y'all over there. And we also do, just do, do some random live streams. Slow. Random live streams as well. And dude, I got to like get one more. Like I got to get another tree, dude. We got to craft up some wood frames to get to the top. I'm stressing, man. This I've chopped down all the trees kind of nearby. We got to just grab a ton of ammo. We got to put a ton of stuff away. Ooh, wah, wah, wee, wah, 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 wee, wah. Things are getting out of hand. But uh, yeah, make sure to head on over there. We are going live every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And sometimes with some bonus streams randomly too. Like just the other day, we went live with a little bit of a birthday stream, which was fun because I, since I was not going to be able to make it to the Friday stream this week, I want to do a little bit of a makeup stream a little bit earlier in the week to make up for that. But yeah, every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Sometimes I try to do a Sunday stream a little bit earlier in the day, like 4 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So for some of y'all up in Europe and the other other side of the world type areas are able to make it because I know that the usual stream time is pretty late for some people and I really do feel bad about that but it's just a matter of uh, circumstance and all that and hockey dockey art chalky this is uh what we got uh do I have more wood okay I got 87 we're gonna want to craft some frames how many that's gonna be too many I think 25 should get the job done and then after that uh, let's get the rest of these spikes crafted we can get one more spike That'll give us a few more here. I'm just going to toss them literally. Pretty much block the front door. I think that's the best use of these things. And I uh, just hope that the zombies are not too keen on getting through, you know? I think that might be a good plan of action. T minus one hour. The time is only getting closer. And wow, when that energy drink wears off, you can really tell. Oh, baby. All right, let's uh, store everything we can. Store everything we can that stacks. Uh... uh did I not start another ch third chest? I did not start a third chest anywhere. Okay, kind of obnoxious. Uh, we'll be able to free up some inventory room. We'll start selling some things pretty soon here. Scrap that. I'll just get rid of the empty glass shards. Don't really need that. Let's drink up on some water. Prepare for this. My water's already full, but YOLO. Uh, just put a few things away. Let's grab... Uh, we don't need that ammo, but all the other ammo. Yes, sir. Please and thank you. Grab all that. Uh, I don't need the primitive bow. Let's put away, put away, just anything, anything, dude. We just gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Oh, and high explosives. Cannot forget the boom booms. 
Oh, that's all the boom booms we're hopefully gonna be needing. Uh, we got that. Let's not. Let's. There we go. We sort that. Uh, just continue putting some things away. First aid kit, stay on me. Those we're done. We're gonna be eating some first aid. Let's be completely honest. Don't need the spoiled meat. I'll keep some of those first aid kits or repair kits with us. Uh, put the mechanical parts away, and we got one more slot up in here to put stuff away into. Put the grain alcohol away. Hokey dokey, we're looking good. We got all the ammo that we're gonna be needing here. Uh, it's time for the plan to go underway. What exactly is the plan, brother? That is a great question. Uh, winging it. Uh, classic strategy known as hello uh what did i just do i'm inside of a block kind sir okay interesting 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 classic strategy known as winging it oh get out of here what is this up to yeah crikey mate crikey i'm just trying to trying to parkour a little bit that's so much to ask there you go there you go and beautiful the stairway up to the roof begins hopefully zombies won't be able to follow us too easily through this and uh, ladies and gentlemen we are mere minutes away from that time it's going to strike. Oh, why don't we go ahead? I mean, we got this gun here. We're going to want to reorganize a few weapons. We got priorities. We got big priorities. Uh, let's bring the shotguns out to play in case things get a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, man, we got to get up on this roof. Stat! Okay, you know what? This is going to take way too long. We're just going to Minecraft our way to victory. Aha. Beautiful. And we have arrived on the roof. Now, there might be vultures and stuff that attack us, but ladies and gentlemen, the horde is here. And with that... The adventure, and ultimately the horror defense, will continue in the very next episode of Seven Days to Die, Alpha 19. Primarily, we got a little bit of spike traps. Primarily, it's going to be a shoot -em out And I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit scared that they will destroy the church because this is a fully destroyable world. And it will collapse under my feet. And they'll potentially break my chest. A lot of bad potential here. We'll see how things unfold. But looking forward to see y'all over there at the streams. Uh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to y'all hopefully having an absolutely awesome day. And looking forward to this next episode of 7 Days to Die. Boy, that's it with that done. That's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.